Hi, my name is John Downs and I'm the editor of both the Gonzo Daily blog and the weekly newsletter which is rapidly becoming a magazine in its own right. I'm also working on a completely new project, a regular chat show podcast featuring Gonzo multimedia artists, which would be some sort of an adjunct to the daily blog and weekly magazine. However, I haven't worked out how to do it yet, and being vaguely a perfectionist, I don't want to put it out until it's ready. However, I do think that it's time that we take a leaf out of the name of the company and add a multimedia aspect to the weekly magazine. So this week, there are a number of short interviews that I've done over the last fortnight. Rather than have my poor, long-suffering wife transcribe them, I'm uploading them to you as sound files. Let me know if you think this works. I've got no idea if it's going to or not, and will be guided by you, the Gonzo Weekly Readership, as to whether this is the direction with which I'm going to carry on or not. The possibilities are, however, endless, and I like the idea that I'll be able to include music and video clips, as well as interviews that can be accessed by readers of this magazine. So, as I said, let me know what you think. Over the last year at Gonzo Multimedia, it's been my privilege to work with some really legendary artists. Artists such as Judy Dibel, who was one of the original founder members of Fairport Convention, then went on to sing with Giles, Giles and Fripp before they formed King Crimson. She recorded with a band called Trader Horn and then disappeared for the best part of 30 years. About 10 years ago, she made a comeback and her most recent album, Talking With Strangers, has just been released in the United States through Gonzo Multimedia. I interviewed her a few months ago and when a friend of mine read this interview, he phoned me up irately and said... Why didn't you interview her about her work with the Incredible String Band? And I said, shamefacedly, I didn't know that you'd worked with the Incredible String Band. He said, listen to The Hangman's Beautiful Daughter, you know, the song about the Minotaur, and phone me back. I did. I did phone him back, because once I knew she was there, it was impossible to mistake the dulcet tones of Miss Dival. So I phoned her up again and asked her that very same question. Oh dear, Some, somebody else asked me that the other day. Um, how did I come to work with the Incredible String Band? Well, I didn't really work with them, I have to say. What happened was, um, Joe Boyd managed the Incredible String Bands and Fairport, and we all used um, Sound Technic Studio in Chelsea to record. And we, we were booked in for a session at... Um, sound techniques and the incredible string band were already there so we were kind of just hanging around and then um, I can't remember Mike or Robin said we need a, we need a, a, a chorus a Greek chorus for, for one of the songs will you all do it so you know he gathered everybody <laughs> together who was around and we all became the chorus of, of the, the Minotaur song because once I didn't know you were on it so since you told me, I went and listened to it together, and then I can hear you. Yes. Complete, I, I, as soon as I knew it was you, it's unmistakable. I know. This is why I'm no good as a, no good as a, um, a backing vocalist, because cause, cause you, you can tell my voice. It doesn't, it doesn't kind of fall into the background. <laughs> well, you, you did that, didn't you, on the last album? You had Julianne Reagan and Celia from The Trees. Yes, who were both yeah. very distinctive voices acting yes. as your backing vocalist. That's right, and they all they, and, it worked. and you can hear all of them. Yes, um, it was brilliant actually. <laughs> it's um, I'm, I'm so lucky with the people that I used to work, used to know, and still work with. I mean, there are lots of people I, sh I should have wanted to work with. I, I, I should have asked Alvin Lee to do something, but it, you have to have to get have the song for them to sing to work with. Yeah. Um, most of the musicians that I kind of know now, um, I can't quite, I can't quite see where they fit in. Although I love what they do, I don't have the songs that would work for them. There's plenty of time. There is, isn't there? Yeah. And although she doesn't sing on it, there is, of course, an incredible string band DVD in the Gonzo Multimedia Lost Broadcast series. But while we're on the subject of Judy Dival, here's a track from her latest album, Talking With Strangers. The 
touch of beauty dead and gone I lost myself in never knowing I changed my city I changed my name The distance always growing In the silence Thoughts unspoken always meant to be It was always meant to be That was Never Knowing, the beautiful opening track from Talking with Strangers by Judy Dibel, available now on Gonzo Multimedia. So, what do you think about the idea of me putting the interviews for Gonzo Weekly into an audio file format so you can hear the voices of the people instead of just having to read the words? I think it's rather good, but it's up to you. It's a new concept, and I'm going to see what you people seem to say about it. I will be guided by you. I'm John Downs, and I hope you enjoy the Gonzo Weekly.